Texas basketball head coach Chris Beard found himself in handcuffs this morning after police say he assaulted a woman at their home. The university suspended Beard and as a result, a former UTEP head basketball coach will be taking over the program for the time being. Now, the alleged assault happened early this morning. This is video of Beard being released from jail this afternoon after posting a $10,000 bond. Beard is charged with assault of a family household member. That's a third degree felony. The Austin American Statesman reports the victim was Beard's fiance. Now, according to the report, she called 911 and told police that during an argument, Beard allegedly strangled her and also bit her. Beard told police at the scene that he had audio recordings that showed he was not the primary aggressor, but police say he refused to share those recordings with them. Now, the Longhorns are in action as we speak, taking on Rice over at the Moody Center. A couple of hours before a tip-off, the university announced that Beard has been suspended without pay. They added that associate head coach Rodney Terry would serve as interim head coach. And the Longhorns taking on Rice, and here you see Coach Terry on the bench tonight. Terry, again, was the former head coach for the UTEP Minors for three seasons from 2018 to 2021. Prior to that, he was the head coach at Fresno State. And right now, the game's still in the first half with Texas trailing Rice 17 to 11. Beard currently in his second season at Texas. He was the Longhorns. He has the Longhorns ranked seventh in the country right now with a record of seven and one. One of those wins against UTEP in the first game of the season. The Beard's hiring at Texas is what led to Terry leaving UTEP and then head coach Joe Golding coming to El Paso. Beard and Terry are good friends, so when Beard got the job at Texas, he brought over Terry to serve as one of his assistants. In 2019, when Beard was the head coach at Texas Tech, he brought the Red Raiders to play in an exhibition game against the Miners at the Haskins Center. The money raised was to help the families of the victims of the August 3rd shooting. So we'll wait and see what the future holds for Coach Beard at Texas. His contract does include a provision under which he can be fired for conduct the administration determines reflect, reflects poorly on the coach program or university, and that includes being charged with a felony.